Don't give in. Keep the faith. The word faith occurs about 514 times in the Bible. If faith occurs so much in the Bible, maybe God is telling us, telling you something. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. So I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Don't give in. Keep the faith. And the Lord will bring you out. Matthew 21, 22. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Romans 10, 17. So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of God. God will bring you out if you keep the faith. I know it may seem hard and I know the problem you're going through may seem insurmountable. But if you hold on God will bring you out. God will bring you out. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourself. It is the gift of God. For grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that 
diligently seek him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall now doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. For we walk by faith, not by sight. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and unbraideth not, and it should be given him. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. And Jesus answering, say unto them, 
have faith in God. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform. Jesus said unto him, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Above all, take in the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians assigned to do were drowned. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days.
I can do all things through Christ, which strengthen me. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and saith unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. For our light affliction, which is built for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. For which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. I hope these scriptures have blessed your soul just like they have blessed mine. 
So again, I encourage you, keep the faith. Don't quit. Don't give up. Trust in the Lord and he will see you through. God bless you and may heaven continue to smile upon you. Amen.